What's going on guys, my name's Simon, welcome back to another episode of Will It Rally. In this episode we are going to be taking this Mazda MX-5 around a rally stage. This thing weighs just over a tonne, it has 160 horsepower from a, uh, a rear wheel driven uh, petrol engine it is. And it has 200 newton meters of torque, top speed of something kilometers an hour, 200 I think it is maybe. I forget. But anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Right, so here we are now at the start line. There we go. Uh, this thing doesn't have, well it does have traction control and ABS, but that didn't seem to help us there as we stopped. We've got a lovely screen there um, for stuff and things if we need that, which we certainly won't. But anyways, Without further ado, we'll put it into first gear, rev it up, three, two, one, and away we go now. I need to turn my speakers down there, that's about right. First gear just rev the crap out of it, that's absolutely no problem at all. Up to second gear now, coming through turn two and three. Ooh, getting a bit airy at the back now. This car obviously rear wheel drive, so it isn't going to be the most pleasant thing on a rally stage that is dusty and gravelly and has lots of verges and things like that. Break about now, down to second gear, throw it in, catch the oversteer if you can, keep the revs alive, or try to anyways. Oh, and we've spun out, and that is, oh, for goodness sake, come on now, come on, up into first, actually no, just reverse it, because we're going to hit an invisible wall otherwise, because this track is full of them. Get it spun around, clutch kick it, just to keep her nifty. Anyways, we've already had the lap invalidated, but that's well, no surprise. If you come in here for valid laps, then you're going to be leaving in tears, I'll tell you that much. Oh, that's a big snap of oversteer there, and I haven't caught it very well, if at all. And we've, well, we've completely cut that section of the course out. And, well, we've somehow gone through that uh, that barrier there. I'm going to put it into first gear. I was trying to, I was pushing it down to uh, sort of reverse. And uh, whilst trying to put it into first gear, that never works out well on a G920 shifter. It is absolutely impossible to do that. And when I say impossible this time, I mean it. So we'll brake about now. Hard on the brakes, down to second gear. Just accelerate ever so slightly coming through there. Hit the, the apex verge. It's not a curb, it's a verge. Up into third gear now. Somewhat successful along this uh, this stage so far. Bit of oversteer there on the, uh, on the, uh, the exit of that corner. Now coming along this straight here. Brake at the fire truck down to third and second now as we just throw it in as I've said many times in this series that uh, road cars are very nice to drive because they have so much lock in uh, the steering up to third my shifter just popped out of place there as I went to put it into third which was well handy but at the same time kind of interesting to work with I nearly hit the, uh, the signs there on, uh, on the left but I didn't, so we're all right. Down to second gear now, and we'll just cut across here because Mad Lad McGee. There we go. That's absolutely beautiful. What time are we at? Two minutes thirty now. That's well, it's okay, I suppose. This last section has been somewhat all right. Get it down to second. Oh dear. Oh dear. My shifter isn't tied on correctly. Oh, and I've hit that, and it's a disastrous day now. It is a absolute shambles. I'm not sure what's happened there with my shifter because it, it seems tied on fairly good and proper but well it just s nearly slid off my desk entirely now and I've really lost my bean bag now I'm not well that's that's <laughs> something I've never heard anyone say but we've lost the bean bag well and truly coming into this uh, this 90 degree right hander which is then followed by another 90 degree right hander as we throw it in now We've hit that wall on the left. We have to try not to hit any walls for the rest of any Will It Rally episodes because, well, as we've learned in the past, they are incredibly glitchy and you will be sent into the demon realm because, well, fences seem to be possessed. It would appear. I'm, I'm going off on a tangent here, folks. It is... Oh, it's a collision is what it is with one of the demon fences and that is not ideal at all now as we accelerate down here through the dip of Mr. Gear there's the tree that smacks you in the face and we're just going to try and negotiate it around here big old dodgy hitbox 
for the uh, the course there. Invisible wall on our left currently. It should be on our right, but it's on our left uh, because we're facing the wrong way. And now we're facing, well, perpendicular, I suppose, to where we should be. And now, as we finally get in the right direction after a beautiful three-point turn in the hairdresser's car, which is the Mazda MX-5. No, 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 don't go in there because you will die, Simon. You will die, definitely. There we go, first gear. Get it going. Up to second gear now. Four minutes 30. That's quite a bad time, but we're going to try and redeem ourselves coming along the fan fiction straight now. Oh dear, that's very... That's very peculiar there with the handling of the car. Got up on the verge and now it's giving me a bit of trouble here coming along the back part of the fan fiction straight over that jump there and now over this jump and we have to brake so we don't hit the wall there. I'll put it into first gear for some reason and that's a horrible, horrible spin out. Oh dear, I've only just missed the wall and that, uh, that pile of logs there on the right. Spin it round. There we go, that's absolutely beautiful. It's really not, but it'll have to do for now and now as we come into the sort of casino square of rally stages here will break about now second gear first gear I've absolutely ground the gearbox to dust but that's absolutely no surprise from Simon SMB the rally master the fence master the everything master 2k 18 I haven't become a master at anything in 2019 so far so in that respect it is a bit of a failure but whatever the case may be we're gonna carry on now through that right hander which you have to take at about five miles an hour because it is so tight I've just spat absolutely everywhere and that is not ideal at all I really do need a drink because my throat is becoming slightly dry and now as we come over that huge jump there the suspension is gone my back is gone and well so is my neck probably and now as we come over this jump here that's just well we haven't caught air oh but I've forgotten to do literally everything I was supposed to and now we've accidentally put it down into first gear and second gear now so accelerating along this straight I'm slightly delayed in the commentary as I've just spat again absolutely everywhere now under the Red Bull inflatable at the grave of the Shelby Cobra now there we go getting past that with some degree of skill break about now down to third gear and second gear now and let's try and negotiate this corner with some amount of skill we sort of have don't hit that oh we have hit it and we've gone round in a circle and that's not ideal at all we've gone rock climbing in the MX-5 but we're gonna brush over that uh, because well I don't go into too much depth with crashes otherwise I would make myself go insane up into fourth gear now and we're gonna break about now we've broken well I haven't broken isn't the word we braked a bit late there lost control and I've spun out, would you believe it? And I've hit an invisible wall for my troubles. So there we go. Clutch kick it, Simon. Get in in the right direction. Oh dear, that's not gone particularly well at all. Oh, what's going on here? I'm all over the show. There we go now, in the right direction. Just about 7.17. And that's not particularly brilliant. Well, I mean, it's okay, I suppose. We've handled most of this stage with a decent amount of skill. Um, it's nothing to be particularly proud of. But it's okay, I suppose. Now, brake coming onto this crest here so you don't go flying off into the wilderness with bear grills. So there we go now. Get in the verge and then get out of it almost immediately because you regret your life decisions when you do. There we go now. Coming round to the final corner now. Cut it up nicely. Sp slide across the line. And it's 7.48. Oh, that's a ginormous crash there in fourth gear. And now I'm going backwards around the rally stage. 7 minutes 48.6 though. Where's that going to put us? That's going to put us uh, behind the transit van Lego uh, Lego car type of area. That would be what? P, P78, 5, 6, 7, 8, something like that. Maybe P9. I'm not quite sure. But anyways, you can see it on your screen. I don't have it because, well, my phone is in another room which is very very odd for a uh, for a teenager I'm sure you'll agree but anyways with uh, with that out the way it is the end of this episode so I do hope you have enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed commentating over it and uh, yes if you did enjoy it, then please do leave a like and feel free to subscribe but apart from that my name's been Simon and I'll see you guys in the next video